Hey guys, welcome back to Ganshi Plans. Uh, the videos this month are a little bit out of order or out of the usual order they are, but because uh, I was on vacation for the first month of the week of the month and didn't uh, have the setup to be filming a weekly plan with me yet. So today you get my flip through for June 2021. And I uh, am getting to this on like yesterday, <laughs> last night as this is going out. So I'm going to try to ramble and not need to do any editing. I'm still in my mode term. I was thinking recently about maybe trying out the file packs again just for a change of pace, but um, I don't know. I've got a lot of monochrome stuff going on like this um, and the gray works with that, even though the orange doesn't. Anyway, I like it. Um, I recently moved a couple of the pieces of acetate around. So you'll see them in slightly different places. This used to be like a grid one but I put the butterflies because um, I was inspired by the butterflies that my parents have in their, gar their garden and we visited them and got to see some hatching and stuff. So that was pretty cool. Um, most of these acetates, I've mentioned this, if you watch all of these videos, I don't know why, because things don't change very much. But anyway, most of these black and white acetates are from Peanuts Planner Co. And uh, people always ask about my tabs and this flyleaf here. They are from a shop called Marlene's Plan to Create. Uh, with a number two on Etsy, but I'm pretty sure that she is still defunct. Um, it was shortly after I got them that she seemed to have closed her shop because it's not there anymore. So unfortunately, there are though other places that you can get the same kind of thing on Etsy. I just search for frosted plastic divider planner tabs or something like that. Um, and I've got the top ones and the side ones and you'll see. Anyway, uh, let's jump right in. We've got, see, I told you when I did the monthly plan with me video, that this tape uh, sticks to itself, to the paper. I love it though, it's so pretty, and so I'm kind of putting up with it a little bit. I just have to, every time it's been closed for a little while. Um, I always love a teal color scheme. Teal and brown, I think, go really well together, so that's what we've got going on here. Um, yeah, that, that's all I have to really say. Using the tiny little dots. More monochrome than last month, which was a lot. Um, but it's going good. Let's see. This little thing here, this is all in the past, but basically every weekend coming up, I just have like the dates of the weekend and the things that are happening that particular weekend, um, and to kind of look ahead and plan ahead. So I'm on the back pa uh, page of this right now, heading into the summer. This was my packing list for our trip and I don't need that anymore. Um, this is the one thing, one year tracker from My Summer Touch. And I am behind, as always. I'm filling this out. I need to catch up. Um, I have already finished May. Um, the thing about this tracker is I don't have to fill it out every single day. Basically, I'm catching up anyway, but I have a one-line-a-day journal. And I'm doing the Bible New Year podcast. I have in here a few, my three most recent charts, NFP charts since I started ovulating again after the baby. I probably only need like one in here at a time, but I haven't put it away. Then this is the level 10 life spread. I, when did I do this? April maybe. Um, I do this whenever I'm feeling a little bit, um, like I don't know what my goal should be and it just helps figure out like where I need to be focusing my time so that I can make monthly resolutions, except I haven't been. Notice I set one in May and I didn't do it. <laughs> so I haven't even set one for June. And that often happens to me, like I start out really good with the year, like you do with a New Year's resolution anyway. You start out really strong and then it kind of, uh, and then maybe once the fall hits or something, I'll start to feel like I need a monthly resolution again. So I'm not moving this insert anywhere, but I'm not going to pressure myself to keep, you know, assigning things that, goals that I'm not going to even work towards, you know. Um, there's a waiting on list here that I use sometimes. Then we are on to the top tabs. These are supposed to be like three projects, right? So the first one, I finally pulled this uh, piece of acetate back because I had taken this out of my planner. I say acetate, really the feature is the sticker. Um, and I had taken this out when I moved all of my content into a traveler's notebook, which I'm still using for some stuff, but more like the long form planning and stuff. I, I want need to have my content calendar in here so that I can plan my week and what needs to get done every single night. Like for example, 
get your video filmed Wednesday night before it goes out Thursday morning. Um, I have April and May in here and I need to print out more. What this is, um, I don't know if I say that very often, but this is the dated monthly. It's insert 14 from my shop. Um, and I just, this is actually the left page, but I cut it so that it was on the right because I only need the one half. Uh, so that's what that is. And then the second tab is my garden. Um, this is the layout roughly. I haven't really touched this. It's probably not exactly accurate right now. Yeah, it's definitely not. Anyway, um, but I have just been using this uh, checklist of just a general checklist of things that need to get done in the garden because after a week away, there's a lot of pruning and stuff. Um, I got some new plants to put in and all that. So tab three is my breast milk tracking which I still have all of these in here and eventually it's going to get to be too, too bulky, but whatever for now, it's fine. Uh, you can see my numbers are not what they once were. Um, I attribute it to how she loves her solids, but I should probably also be doing more. Anyway, first right tab is my weeklies. So this is the same, uh, setup and the inserts I was using last month as well. So what I've got here is the fold out checklist. Uh, this is this first week is like I said, the week I was on the vacation. So you'll see it's very sparse. Fold out checklist and then with dailies. So these are insert 22. This one is insert 37. Um, insert 22 for the dailies. And so they have the time ladder. And I was just kind of keeping a little bit of a log of like what we did each day here. Occasionally there was like a to do item. But even this I backfilled. It's like a memory keeping thing instead. I just wanted to be able to look back at it someday and, you know, know what we did. Um, and then some weeks, like for example, the week we are in, we've got, again, same setup. But uh, for the weekend, I have the weekend daily, which I also, you'll see, um, cut it with the margin on the left instead of the right here. Not all of them are that way, but I didn't want any of them on the left side, so I, I just cut them off center or off sides or whatever. Um, for reference, if you're ever trying to do that, the way that my inserts are designed specifically is with a um, four millimeter margin around these ends and a half inch margin on this side. Um, it you know it doesn't match, but it is what it is. Um, so there you go. This is basically the setup. I went ahead and like decided for each week going on like weekends that weren't as crazy I have the weekend daily where it's two days per page and then weeks that are more busy like I know for example oh, <laughs> this last week in or this is actually the first week of July um separate pages for Saturday and Sunday because I know that those days are going to be busier because we have birthday parties and I still in here have the last week of May because I didn't take it out because I was too busy packing. Then um, I have an entire tab dedicated to my meal plan <laughs> just because I have extra tabs. I'm not going like, to take some of these tabs out. Uh, so some things just get their own entire section. And this is the meal planning insert from my shop, uh, which I use really regularly. Um, I don't always make a new one every single week but I use it almost all the time. So I, yeah, that's, that's that. Next tab is an inbox. I redid my inbox. Uh, so it is blank. And then I have this Eisenhower matrix here also from my shop. It's like insert five or something, four. There you go. Um, I haven't used it yet though. I was thinking that it might be useful if I was brain dumping some stuff here, but mostly I've been using my phone for brain dumps lately or at least for like a catch-all place to put to-dos. And then I actually just today made a reminder in my phone to actually remind me to process that list, which is the thing that's important because having it written down somewhere that you never see it is not super useful. Someday Maybe lives here. Um, and then this is my craft projects. And the great news, I have been telling you for forever and ever that I have been ignoring this project. This is the baby blanket that I'm knitting for my second daughter. I was hoping to have it done before she was born, but she is uh, almost nine months old now. And I am not quite, I, I'm farther along than this, but only probably like here. Um, Cause I have not really been using the row counter 
I've started to get more into the groove of it, but it's nice to have like the pattern written here so that it's always on me. And this make this notation that I did makes a little bit more sense than the way it's written in the pattern to me. Anyway, I took out like the repeats and stuff. Um, these are some notes for a game I play, though I don't think I'm going to need this one anymore. Yeah. Okay. Then, yeah, I tossed a piece of acetate. I had an extra one. Oh, because of this guy. Uh, so that's layered and that's fun. This one is sort of reference because I don't know the, the categories I've been using projects and reference to sort of denote two different things and they're kind of the same thing but whatever. Uh, library books that are checked out. I need to round these up and return some of them. A lot of them. Uh, then a to watch list which I'm going to redo sometime soon because it is looking a bit of a mess. Uh, gift ideas and my own personal wish list. Then my examination of conscience insert. This is a freebie in my shop um, and I haven't filled it out. Like the idea of having it in here was to see it every so often and like actually spend some time working on that, preparing myself so that I'd be ready next time I wanted to go to confession, which is coming up. I try to do it every few months. Anyway, the point is it's folded in half like this so that it's, you know, completely secret, but I, as I said, I opened it up and there's nothing there. So tab five is my future log. This little hedgehog, I haven't introduced him to you in a while. It's from the little red house. Uh, she has a, a, a Instagram. You can see all of her cool stuff. She makes a lot of really cool stuff. I have some washi tape from her too. I got this at Comic-Con because she had a booth there. So that was fun. Uh, Comic-Con has been delayed for another year, by the way. This from Peanuts Planner Co. is the only future log I'll ever need, probably. So the fold out from the uh, dated yearly bundle. And then this one, I think I mentioned last time, this is actually like the cover page on the freebie monthly from Peanuts Planner Co.'s Facebook page. Um, and I just print it out back in front like this to use as my and afterwards for my future log. Then this is... Uh, birthdays and anniversaries. This has lived in here since before my daughter was born, I think. And does it, it's evergreen, you know, because I just have like the year that someone was born, so it doesn't have to change. Recurring tasks that happen every so often. My husband changed my oil, so that got moved. And then the last tab is spare paper. Some stickies, some drop pads, and oh, I only have, what, two pages in here? Three, two grids and a checklist. So every so often I need to refill these. As you can see, a lot of these pages have been like folded over because this was super, super chunky. I posted a couple po photos on like maybe YouTube, um, definitely on Instagram when I had both May and June in here. And you can see like each of these weeks take up a chunk of space, you know, and I had two months worth of these weeklies in there and it was a lot. So some of these pages got a little bit messy, but it's fine. That's the entire thing. Um, and most of these videos are very similar. So if you want to see the pockets and stuff, I've gone into that in other times. But uh, that is it for today. As I said, I didn't stop talking the entire time. So I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe. I post videos every Thursday. So like I said, the schedule for this month is slightly off and the weekly playing with me video will be for next week. So stay tuned, ring the bell and I'll see you then. Bye.